everyone, Paul Humiller here at Dream Guitars, and always nice for me to hold a Thompson guitar. Preston Thompson was, of course, a dear, great builder that we lost um, last year, but his crew um, over there in Oregon are just amazing and continuing on his legacy, um, and I'm sure he's very, very proud. Um, I've been out there to meet the folks and hang out with them, and I can tell you that they're world-class people, and they're building world-class guitars. They're very traditional construction, dovetail neck joint, great woods, high glue, great finishes. Um, everybody there is awesome. Gareth, um, who does the voicing on the tops, is just a magician. Keep it up, Gareth. Um, really, every one of those that I play has that fullness and that body that you want. It has a, a sound that harkens back to traditional um, old Martin guitars. But to me, there's just a touch more beauty in, in the mix. Um, it's hard to explain until you play one, but people who know Thompson, and many of you do, understand what I'm trying to get across. Um, so this one, no exception. It's a 4.0 model, a quad ot, they say, and a, a model I like a lot. Basically, if you think about a triple O and go one notch bigger, um, it's a little bit bigger than an OM in general, um, a little bit more air inside the guitar, and they almost rival dreadnoughts for the amount of power they can create but yet they hold a little bit more like an OM, very easy to play, easy to get around. Um, to me, they're just a lot of fun. They make really great blues and rag guitars, but they also do strum really nice if you're a singer and songwriter or anything like that as well. So let's give this one a quick once over. So we've got Adirondack Spruce on the top, really nice Adirondack, and it's got just a touch of toner, as you can see the, the yellow hue to it, a little bit more vintage looking. It's beautiful, ebony fingerboard, of course. Solid peg head, so nice and easy to change the strings. Waverly tuners on a satin finished neck, so the neck has got a nice easy sheen to it, no, nothing sticky, and beautiful mahogany. Tortoise bindings on this one would just go, goes great with mahogany, that's why you see it so much. And just a killer guitar, this one's in really good shape, kept well by its owner, who's a really nice man, I can tell you, so it's got some good mojo in it as well. And this is just a 4.0, a you know, big, strong guitar, um, right in, about as big as you're going to get in sort of the mid-size, maybe leaning towards a jumbo size guitar, but very easy to hold, but lots of power. So this one's fun, fun, fun. I'm going to have fun. Preston Thompson, Quado. Quado. <coughs> 